I've been a, a landscape photographer for, uh, for about 40 years. And when I first started as a photographer, um, I worked with large uh, agencies, photo markets, who used to sell my work around the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would then work out the places to visit and the places to take photographs with. Um, and I suppose they were my marketing arm, and I then did all the photographic side. What was interesting all those years ago, of course, is that actually in the UK at that time, there were only three full-time professional landscape photographers, of which I was one. And you are chosen, you are asked to join an agency, so somebody would look around and if you were lucky, one of the big agencies would pick you up as their landscape specialist, and that happened to me on a couple of occasions. And I also started to widen the work that I did because I didn't really do commercial and industrial photography um, because it really wasn't my scene. I was always interested and while I've been doing a wide and varied things in my career, I've always continued to work in the arts sector and slowly but surely I began to use technology and most people think that digital technology is something that's happened in the last 10, 15 years. Actually, amazingly, the digital world was with us 30 odd years ago. And I used uh, technology in those days to be able to transfer images onto all sorts of substrates, which could be onto wood, onto metal, onto glass, onto ceramics. And then these were used, and usually very large pieces were used then to decorate hotels and uh, boardrooms, etc. And the more that I got into that area, the more I realised that I had a feel for colour and design and started then to work in a more creative way and started to leave photography uh, alone. And eventually, of course, over a period of time, the photographic agency died, especially when digital came along. But for me, the most interesting thing was being able to work with colour and textures rather than necessarily photographic stuff. And uh, I suppose about 15 years ago, I fell out of love with photography because I was, in my opinion, photography was stuck in the 1980s. Uh, and in lots of ways, even today, it's still there. It hasn't moved on, but the world has moved on. And we now have some fabulous equipment and we've got different ways of working. And so these days we can cover a larger and wider range of things just using actually smaller pieces of kit but more creative.